watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you and um, and also let's look ahead to 2018 which is going to be another powerful year. I feel very very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening as we know are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels and if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading then you know just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding and for you it might be that you you've changed at home or you've changed your changed your job or you relationships around you are changing family circumstances are changing things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way and um, and you're wondering why why things are changing and maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers maybe things just seem very smooth for you but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic anyway this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune. So where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us, there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook live as well soon long promised and I'll leave a link under the video as well and that's it I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis so it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign so I think that's everything have a fantastic year and if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share um, ideas and... and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace, and I'll speak to some of you soon.
lovely Leo folk and welcome to your 2018 year ahead reading. Just want to say thank you for all your love, thank you for all your support and I, I know this is going to be a fantastic 2018. I know it's going to be a very interesting year for all of us. So let's look at the powerful changes now that I mentioned at the beginning. We're looking at, for you, for you Saturn moving out of your fifth house and into your sixth. So for you, the last few years, you've been maturing in the area of creativity, um, children, how you work with children or how you, um, how you parent or how you yourself are as a child. Um, also, love, you know, real love. What is it? What does it mean to you? What, you know, what makes you feel loved? What, what makes you feel alive? What makes you feel completely in your heart? What matters to you? on a creative level, what matters to you as a creative person and what matters to you as a loving being, as a loving person. And all of those, in all of those areas, you've really come to a place of maturity, of understanding yourself, of understanding what you need to feel good about life, to feel that love, to feel that divine spark of joy. So, what a fantastic thing to have been learning. But Saturn, it's been Saturn that's taught you there. Saturn is always teaching us something. And because of this, you have experienced limitations and stops and starts and self-doubt and self-questioning and, and all of those other Saturnian um, influences. But you have come to a place now where you have a deep understanding of yourself and of what makes you happy and of what makes you flourish as a creative being. And you will be taking that, now that Saturn is moving into your sixth house, you'll be taking all of that awareness into your day-to-day -day reality, which is just perfect. The, the astrology is just sublime in the way that it, um, you know, we move through from one influence to the next in, in, in rotation around the wheel, if you like. So that's going to be perfect. What that means is you will have a greater understanding of, of how to feel good in your creativity and you will have an understanding that in order for me to make that much more a part of my day-to-day -day reality in future, I need to do this, this and this. So you will have learned the building blocks of how to make it make sense. Saturn likes us to make things make sense. It's always saying, are you sure? Are you sure you've learned that? Are you sure you've learned that? Are you sure you've covered that base? And sometimes it can be a nightmare, especially when it's combined with a creative influence because we just want to fly. We just want to go. We just want to create. And we're tested and we're tested and we're tested. But the reason we're tested like that is so that we really, truly have an understanding by the time we come to the end of the transit of what it is that lights us up, that brings us to life. You might also have had to deal with, learn how to deal with situations with children or young people differently. So that Saturn influence can be quite heavy around children. So it might be that you've had to learn to, um, to lay down certain foundations or rules or boundaries in that respect. It could be that new things are coming into your life with regard to children. New um, shoots of life are appearing. Your family might be expanding as a result of, of the Saturn influence. It might be that um, you're learning how to open up to that expansion while also taking care of what you need in order to feel alive and feel creative. So I hope that makes sense for you, um, Leo. And um, it's going to be very exciting because with Jupiter moving from your third to your fourth house, you've had the real expansion has been over the past year or so in your thinking, in your um, communication, reaching out much more to people to communicate online, for example, or, you know, it can be letters, <laughs> I suppose, back, you know, in history, through history, it would have been, it, it would have been letters, at some point it would have been pigeons, <laughs> but communication and local journeys, little journeys, moving from here to here, um, in, in the community, having an impact on the community, all of those areas have been expanded, you know, the way you speak, the way you communicate with people, the way you reach out to them, what you share with them, 
um, how you're able to impact the community. All of that has been expanded and now there's going to be expansion in your home. What's your idea of home? And also your emotional security. What do you need in order to feel secure? What sort of home do you need? Where do you need to live? Who do you need to have around you? Um, what is there in the past that has actually um, fed into your ideas of home? What needs to change? Do you need to have maybe more freedom? Do you need to free yourself of the shackles of the way that you view your home? Or do you need to just change your home? Um, sometimes it can mean a move abroad because um, you've got Jupiter there which is about expansion and other cultures and embracing other cultures in the fourth house which is all about home. So there's a lot of interesting stuff waiting to happen for you Leo in the year ahead and it's going to be a lot of fun. It could be um, that you do more travelling, it could be just that you decide um, that you know where you are because of what you've learnt in the Saturn transit about what sort of uh, creativity you want, what makes you happy, what you want your day-to-day -day reality to look like, because of that you might suddenly decide that you're living in completely the wrong place for all of those things to, to come together and it's going to be very very interesting to see what you decide, decide. okay? So, but go from what your heart chooses Go from what you really, really feel as opposed to what you think. That's coming through really clearly. Go from what you feel as opposed to what you think. Okay? Archangels. Right, I'm, I was just asking mentally which cards to use and I just got Archangels. So let's go to the Archangel deck. And um, yeah, the take your, ca take your Power Back card just flew out there, just sort of turned itself up. So for some of you, if you feel that you've been trapped by your ideas of what a perfect home should be, um, some of you will have already freed yourself, but if you feel that that is any, in any way a part of your consciousness, you need to take your power back around that. So if, for example, you've become stuck somewhere for some reason, you need to find a way to make that work for you. Find a way to free yourself. Okay, so what, how are we going to do this? We're going to look at... Past, present, future, and then we're going to look at the beginning, the middle, and the end of 2018. Okay, so, Leo, the past, the most recent past, leading up to now, wonderful card, leadership, and the message says, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So this has been a big influence for you recently, where you've actually felt that you've had you've been called to come into your step into your mission, step into your purpose, to really build something that says something to the world about who you are, what you came here to do, how you came to lead others, how you came to help others to come into their power and to grow and you've absolutely been either considering it very deeply or you've actually stepped into that role. So it's been a very powerful year for you in terms of taking on that leadership um, and moving forward with it and making changes. Now, Indigo and Crystal Children. So you've got a lot of, um, for some of you, you will have a deep bond with a lot of children. Um, and not just children in your family or in your home. There will be some of you who work with children. There will be some of you who, yeah, you do have children uh, or do have grandchildren as well or nieces and nephews for some of you. But there will be an influence that you have over children of a very sensitive nature, over children who are, you know, the indigos, the crystals, um, the earth angels that we have, even star seeds. someone's just said... Children who are not quite, don't seem exactly of this world, who need that extra love, support and understanding of someone who is also very sensitive and very aware of, of other dimensions. And so it's just a very important time for you, Leo, to recognise that you can work with children or that you can have an influence um, with children and also your inner child. You've been looking at the inner child very much 
um, over the last year or so. So it's going to be really, really powerful for you to take that understanding now and to share it with outer children, if you understand. And, okay, moving into career transition, taking everything that you've learnt over the last year or so and putting that into your new focus that's based on leadership, leading others to embrace their inner joy, their inner children, their inner child, or working with children in some capacity, and allowing your career to transform throughout the year, and especially towards the end of the year, looks very exciting indeed. Okay, so now, past, present, future. So we've got the beginning of the year. Um, so this is the first few months of the year. You're being asked to remember that you are safe, that you're okay, that even though you're sometimes being asked to take risks, to do things that you haven't done before, to build new dreams, to build new structures even, to, to take care of people in new ways, to take care of yourself in new, new ways, to change, to move, you know, to change countries or whatever it is, whatever your dream is, no one is telling you, the angels would not tell you what to do. No one's telling you what to do, but you're being asked to trust the impulses that you already have, to trust your inner wisdom and the inner light that's leading you towards your true joy. Trust that you're safe. We don't come to this earth to, you know, to get a nine to five job and be secure. We come here to live and to experience joy and to be to be a contribution to the evolution of mankind and um, and to celebrate life as much as possible and along the way we do have certain lessons to learn and um, it's important to know that if you're about to take a leap you will be caught you will be supported okay so nurture yourself in the middle of the year if you are asking yourself to step outside of your comfort zone quite a lot um, in the first few months Remember that you need to take care of yourself, celebrate all of those little milestone steps, you know, treat yourself to something nice every time you, you push yourself and you achieve something that you didn't think you could achieve. Look after yourself, be gentle with yourself every step of the way, because um, you are being asked to upgrade your life this year, again. <laughs> and we've got clairvoyance, so coming towards the end of the year, and the real thing here for me is Archangel Raziel coming in and giving you even more of a push towards developing your spiritual gifts, your psychic gifts, your intuition, and working with your guides much more. So if that's not something that you've um, begun or that you're interested in, just remember that you have angels around you and guides around you who are guiding you to make the wisest and best choices always um, regardless and I've just shuffled to get a card from the colour deck and we've got lavender which is connect to mind body and to body mind and soul so integration is going to be very important for you this year it's important for you to remember not to not to neglect any aspect of your being um, to take care of your body when you're working on transforming your life and your career, to give your mind an escape, to meditate, to let go of overthinking, um, to really take care of your spirit and, you know, have walks in nature and ask your guides to help you and to allow everything to work together because as you move through this year your leadership role is going to increase more and more and you might find yourself taking on more and more um, tasks or adventures or possibilities you might have other people coming in to work with you to assist you um, and you might also find yourself yearning for more creative time integration is key in all things. That seems to be the main message here for you. Integrate all of your learning, integrate all of your gifts and faculties and you will grow and go from strength to strength in 2018, Leo. Have a fantastic year. Take good care of yourself and your lion heart and continue to shine that light and spread that light throughout the world bless you and take care till we speak again just to let you know i am also doing my personal year ahead readings now um i'll leave a link below the video and they will be personally um created from 
tuning in with your energy, your guides, my guides, and looking at any messages that are specifically meant for you to guide you in the year ahead. All right, take care, and I will speak to you again soon. Bye. Bye.